us to God. Come in, God. I know you're there hearing our prayers wherever you are. We need you now to send your love down. Take away the pain in your holy name. We ask this now. We need your light, we need your love to heal the world you made. And save us now in our darkest hour with your amazing grace. Earth to God. We're holding on, but not for long. all close to the Holy Ghost and keep us strong. We need your light, we need your love to heal the world you made. And save us now in our darkest hour with your amazing grace. Earth to God. Good evening. Hello. Hello. There we are. Yeah. So used to walking around with the mic. This is good. Welcome and thank you. And good evening and thank you. What a, what a happy group. What a happy group. Uh, new faces and, and visitors, we welcome all of you here. Um, confess, this is, this is my first atonement gathering ever. Um, I don't know why necessarily. It, it just is. It was sparked by, thank you, <laughs> it was um, sparked by, by several members of the church that kind of got together, and there, this has been brewing for some time. Uh, the, some background behind atonement, if, if you've thought much about Yom Kippur, if it, that's what it says on the calendar, or the Day of Atonement, it's a... <laughs> It's a celebration of when the high priest in Moses' day of the tabernacle, the high priest would go into the Holy of Holies one day a year. And on that one day of year, he would make a sacrifice for the nation, he would make a sacrifice for his family, and he'd make a sacrifice for himself. And if God did not accept his sacrifice... Because he was in the Holy of Holies, the most separate place where God resided, no one can be in the presence of God and survive, so he would drop dead. The historian Josephus wrote that that high priest traditionally would wear a rope around his ankle because no one could go in to get him if he did drop dead. 
if God did not accept that sacrifice. Now, the background where that pertains to us 2,000 years later, 3,500 years later than that time, is that Jesus died for our sin, and that atonement that Jesus atoned for us, it's a covering. It, it covers us over. If you read in the book of Genesis, one of the first stories, and, and almost all of you would know this, where you know Noah built this ark for the animals to survive the flood that covers the earth. Sunday school kids know this story. But what we don't realize is when God told Noah, cover the ark inside and out with pitch, with bitumen tar, cover it out inside and out, cover it with this tar to make it waterproof, cover it with that. The word for cover is atone, atonement, to cover. That's what we are. We are covered. Jesus' death, his blood covers our sins so that we can be made acceptable to a holy God because we're not acceptable without him. Okay, so in this Jewish standing, because we're not all Jewish here, in this standing of Old Testament to New Testament to Jesus to today, and how does this all weave together? Well, <laughs> one, that was their most holy day. From sundown tonight, here in a few minutes, from sundown on Sunday to sundown on Monday, that Jewish day, that day of atonement, the religious Jewish people, this 24-hour period, they feel the most near to God. Because they recognize that there was a covering. There was the, the blood of animals covered them. God accepted that at that time. But Hebrews would tell us that the blood of animals is never going to suffice for us forever and ever. So they had to sacrifice over and over and over again. The blood of Jesus is forever for all who will accept him. Will accept his covering for them. That's why. That's the reason for tonight. So, we gather in song, there is, um, you know, we, we welcome all that are familiar with this place and those who visit, there's an offering plate at the back, it's not mandatory, if you feel led to give something that's wonderful, it's at the back, uh, we don't pass anything, we haven't for some time with the COVID restrictions, that's the reason for the ribbons and all that, all the <laughs> sanitary things outside between us and the door. So, but thank you so much, and uh, let's open in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you for each and everything. Every breath in our lungs is not something we earned or were worthy of. It's a gift from you. Every beat of our heart, every day of our lives is your gift to us. And that you sent Jesus to die for all of us who are sinful is the ultimate gift for us. We are just called to accept it. We are all able to accept it. And Lord, we ask that you would use these songs to remind us of you, to remind us of this gift, to remind us of this opportunity that to not be lost. Thank you again for this evening and these people. And we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hello, everyone. So thankful you're here. We're so thankful that God's going to forgive us. Let's come together in unity and just ask the Lord to forgive us and cleanse us, heal our land. Say amen on that. Say amen on that. Where'd our land go? Ah, there she is. Come on. Come on, Larry. Walk this road to glory, children, my Lord and I. We're going to walk and tell the story, children, my Lord and I. When I come to the river wide, the blessed Lord is going to come to tide. We're going to walk this road to glory, children, my Lord and I. Well, we're going to walk this road to glory, children. Come on. My Lord and I, we're gonna walk and tell the story, children. 
just praise you and thank you for this gathering. The praise team can't wait to hear you. Feel free to sing along if you'd like. You don't have to. You can just be silent and soak in the words. Whatever, whatever comes to your heart. There's nothing worth more that could ever come close. Nothing can compare. You're my living. Tasted and seen of the sweetest of loves, where my heart becomes free and my shame is undone. Your presence, Lord. Holy Spirit. What? 
Feel free to join us. You stood before creation in eternity in your hand. You spoke the earth into motion, my soul now to stand. You stood before. Carry 
This song might be new to most of you. We just heard it recently, and, and it just um, touched our hearts so much. We just, it just felt it needed to be here tonight. <laughs> We want our coffee in the lobby. We watch our worship on the screen. We got a rock star, a preacher. Won't make us from our dreams. It's not true. It's not true. We want our blessings in our pocket. We keep our missions overseas. For the hurting in our cities. We even cross the street, but we want to see the heart set free and the tyrants kneel, the walls fall down and our land be healed, but church, if we want to see a change in the world out there, it's got to start right here, it's got to start right now. Brother of the prodigal who turned his nose up off his chest. He didn't run off like his brother, but his soul was just as dead. What if the church on Sunday was still the church on Monday, too? What if we came down from our towers? And walked a mile in someone's shoes. Because we want to see the heart set free and the tyrants steal. The walls fall down and our land be healed. But church, if we want to see a change in the world out there, it's got to start right here. It's got to start right now. We're going to start right here. Starting right now. We're the people who are called by His name. We surrender all our pride and from our ways. He will hear from the heaven and forgive our sin. He will hear our land, but it starts right here. We're the people who are called by His name. If we'll surrender all our pride and we will hear from heaven and forgive our sin. He will heal our land. It's start right here. It's got to start right now. It's going to start right here. Lord, I'm starting right now. It's going to start right here. It's going to start right now. Thank you, Larry. I got a, a, pr a short prayer I want to read. Can you put that mic down, that one? All righty then. Now I, can, now I can see you. Praise God. I'm glad you're sticking up for us here. So. You folks probably remember Pastor Jim Abicker. He sent this to me. It's fitting, and I'm going to read it. He said he was doing some house cleaning the other day, and he discovered this prayer 
that he copied 35 years ago in the UK. And it's a precious prayer, and he thought he would send it to me. I think Pastor Darren even got a copy. Gracious Father, speak through us to the broken hearts and troubled souls of our world. To those who live in some desert of temptation, provide power to make them strong. To those who pray, not knowing where to turn, grant comfort to give them peace. To those who suffer beyond our understanding, send joy to transform their night of anguish. To those who are caught in some hell of wrongdoing, bring forgiveness to set them free. And to those who weep by the grave of some precious dream, give hope. Send a ray of resurrection light and let them meet Jesus Christ our Lord. In whose name we pray. Amen. Come on up. So this song I'm going to do, it's kind of really neat. It was wrote by, written by, sorry, sir. <laughs> it was written by Chris Christopherson. And Connie Smith, I don't know if how many of you know her, she grabbed him one day and took him to church. First time. He's not, he wasn't a church-going guy then. And he said that experience, he couldn't explain it. So he wrote this song. And since then, he has become a Christian. Okay, go ahead, CJ. <laughs>
praise Jesus. Amen. What a night to celebrate, isn't it? The moment ushering in. Um, something's going on in the heavenly realms, and even though you see all this evil out there, the righteous availeth much. And something's going on every year on Day of Atonement. Don't miss this opportunity. We all need to come to the altar. We all need to say, Lord, forgive us for putting opinions of others first. We all need to do that. Don't miss this chance because the window closes soon and we won't get this chance till next year. You can lower those lights. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Just something about that name. Master, Savior, Jesus, like a fragrance after.
on you. We've turned to other idols, and it broke your heart in two. Your love and your mercy <laughs> is calling us back. course again. Ready now. There is a river that flows from deep within. There is a fountain that thankful. You know, on the Day of Atonement, that's the only time that the Lord said, do not come to me empty-handed, and you can't buy anything from me, but he's trying to get you. Don't miss this opportunity because he's gathered us here. We're asking forgiveness for opinions of others, stubbornness, pride, everything. I love you, Sue. I'm so glad you're here. You guys did aren't praise team. Father, thank you that we can be a privilege and one accord with this. This altar is open. It should be full all the time, but this is the one time it really needs to be full. So we praise you for that. Pastor, thank you for not watering down the word. Thank you for that. Come on, saints. You can dim that down a little bit more there, CJ. Forgive me, I'm so sorry. Come on, saints, don't leave this opportunity. Forgive me, Larry. I've been so wrong. First, I
that's been shattered. Lord, forgive us for our sins. Love can restore. Instead of my people call upon you. You will come and heal our land. And time will heal. Never repenting and want to cry. Bondage has been broken. Chains are coming down, Lord, and I thank you for that. Just remain there if you want to. We'll do the last altar song.
praying, saints. Hear your children, O oh Lord, we are lifting our praise to you. Hear my words. I'm singing like this, it's now right to your throne. Take this moment. Come dwell in the place hollowed out for your secret. Children of Lord, we are lifting our praise to you. Father, we thank you. Let singing like this is now right to your throne. Let it rise. Come down in the place hollowed out for your spirit. Just remain there as long as you want to. Father, we just praise you. We ask you to forgive us and cleanse us. Come heal our land, Lord. Let us again put one nation under God. Let us again just serve you and not the opinions of other, Lord. Protect the pastor, protect Larry, protect Joe and Bob and everyone in leadership. Father, I pray that the devil doesn't allow them to steal away what you have placed in their heart to do. It will come forth. Larry, you keep preaching the word of the living God. Something big is about to happen. Get ready for it. We're going to see a worldwide awakening or the rapture is going to take place or something, but we're going to stay firm and we're going to hold together, says the Spirit of the Lord. We praise you, Lord. We thank you for forgiving us. We thank you for cleansing us of all sins, Lord. We lay our incense to you, Lord. I pray that this has been coming up to you, Lord, and you have heard that, and you are restoring us right now. Relationships, churches, businesses, families, all that's been divided, Lord. The scales have been weighed. You're separating the sheep from the shaft, and Father, I know something big is going on, and you're still in control, and I thank you for that, Lord. Thank you for healing us in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. Thank you so much for each and every, every one who helped with the singing and the music and the sound and the lights. There are, uh, I, I don't know what you take away from tonight. I, I don't know some of you from Adam. In fact, you probably know Adam better than me, more than you know about me. There is um, some things to take away from this evening as we go out. One thing that Dean said when he came up here, he's talking about Chris Christopherson, and that, that testimony is that Chris experienced something he couldn't explain. He experienced something he couldn't explain. There are experiences like that in life. That you are here tonight is not an accident. There's nothing accidental that Daniel's here, that anybody's here, that Larry's here. It's not an accident that you were here. It's not an accident that you heard these songs. It's not an accident of their lyrics. It was a, a beautiful collision that we pray was pleasing in God's sight and ears and mind and heart. I don't, I don't know your church background. I know my church background, and I, and I know what a struggle it was for me to come to the altar years ago. And ever since I've been there, there's been something that has struck and has stuck with me from then on, and there's, there's images. One image is what, was of Marcus Smith. You remember Marcus Smith, Larry? Marcus Smith, 6'6", six, six, African-American fellow. You could see his clothes from outer space. Couldn't you, Larry? Easy. No telescope, nothing. I mean, they were bright. 
and his wife Shirletha, same. But they've both passed on now, and they would come to the altar, and they would pray at, at the church in Kearney. One of the most unique things, when you pray with, with your heart wide open to God, it doesn't matter if you are on the wing of an aircraft, or you are at the altar, or you are at home, or you are in a pile of mud, or something that doesn't smell like mud. It's you and God and nothing else. The two songs, it, you wouldn't have known. I wouldn't have known if there was anybody around. I know that's true for Larry. I've heard him pray. That when he prays to God for forgiveness, he's kneeling at the altar. He might not even know if there's anybody left in the church. Same way with Joe Bettner. Same way with Adam Lind who isn't here. You're praying to God and you're asking for forgiveness and it's you and Him and there's nothing else. <laughs> That's exactly what atonement's about. It's exactly what it's about. Is you getting right with God. If there is anything that you haven't gotten straight with Him, please don't leave this building without it being straightened out. Without you saying, Lord, I, I'm sorry for this thing or that thing or those things or the way I've lived or the way I've thought or what I've done. I know you came. And I know you died. I know you rose again to save me if I would accept you as my Lord and Savior. That's the invitation. That's the forgiveness. And it's not, like I said, it's not an accident that you're here. So please go out. Know that we thank you from the bottom of our heart. I thank each and every one who I know and who I don't know so well that we would go out in, in prayer and in thanks and we would remember this night. We're not going to get it back. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you for your songs, for your word, for your words, but most of all, thank you for sending Jesus to die on our behalf so that our sins could be atoned for, that they could be covered in your sight. Father, send us out, leading, guiding, directing, and protecting us. And please, let us be a light to this world who is hurting and is lost. And we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen.